Today we are going to learn how to count money. We will see how money amounts are similar to decimal numbers using a place value chart. By the end of this video we will see that counting money is actually very easy. Money is what we use to buy products, such as books or clothes. Or services, such as a haircut. Or babysitting. We can have money in a physical form such as coins and bills. Or we can have money in digital or electronic form, such as debit cards or cryptocurrencies. Depending on the country in which we live, we can have a different type of money, called currency. For example, the euro is the currency of some European countries, such as Spain, Germany, among others. The US dollar is the currency of the United States. As we know, we can have money in different amounts and values, right? For example, if we live in the United States, we can have a $1 bill. We can have a $2 bill. We can have a $5 bill. We can have a $10 bill. We can have a $20 bill. We can have a $50 bill. Or we can have a $100 bill. These values are called denominations. We can have the same amount of money in different denominations. For example, we can have $8 in 8, $1 bills, or in 4, $2 bills. Imagine that we want to buy something that costs $6. We have 5 options to pay. We can pay with six $1 bills. We can pay with three $2 bills. We can pay with a $5 bill and a $1 bill. We can pay with a $2 bill and four $1 bills. Or we can pay with two $1 bills and two $2 bills. There are also smaller denominations, generally in the form of coins. Coins are small metal pieces of money. Generally these smaller denominations are called cents. This is the symbol for cent. One cent is worth 100 times less than the monetary unit. For example, $100 cents are worth $1. 100 euro cents are worth 1 euro. In many countries there are coins of 1, 5, 10 and 25 cents. For example, in the United States, we can have a 1 cent coin. Often called penny. It takes 100 pennies to make 1 dollar. We can have a nickel, which is worth 5 cents. It takes 20 nickels to make one dollar. We can have a dime, which is a 10 cent coin. It takes 10 dimes to make one dollar. Or we can have a quarter, which is worth one quarter of a dollar or 25 cents. It takes four quarters to make one dollar. 
Imagine that we want to buy something that costs $3.53. And we want to know what bills and coins can make this amount. What we have to do is create a decimal place value chart in the following way. In the ones column, we put the $1 bill. In the tens column, we put the $10 bill. And in the hundreds column, we put the $100 bill. These columns correspond to the dollar amount without cents. For example, $7. Or $12 or $110. Now it's the turn of the cents. In the tenths column we put the 10 cent coin or dime. And in the hundredths column we put the 1 cent coin or penny. These columns correspond to the amount in cents. Now we can use this place value chart to know what bills and coins can make $3.53. We start with the dollar part, in this case $3. We put it in the ones column. Now we continue with the cents part, in this case 53 cents. The 5 should go in the tenths column. And the 3 in the hundredths column. And this is the result. As we can see, we need three $1 bills, five dimes, and three pennies if we want to buy something that costs $3.53. Let's look at another example. Suppose we want to know what bills and coins we need to make $30.99. As we did before, we use our place value chart. We start with the dollar part, in this case $30. We put the zero in the ones column. And the three in the tens column. Now we continue with the cents part, in this case 99 cents. We put the first nine in the tenths column. And the other in the hundredths column. And this is the result. As we can see, we need three $10 bills, nine dimes, and nine pennies. Let's look at another example. Suppose we want to know what bills and coins we need to make $512.50. As we did before, we use our place value chart. We start with the dollar part, in this case $512. We put the two in the ones column the one in the tens column, and the five in the hundreds column. Now we continue with the cents part, in this case 50 cents. We put the five in the tenths column and zero in the hundreds column. And this is the result. As we can see, we need five $100 bills, a $10 bill, two $1 bills, five dimes, and no pennies. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.